Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Slayer. Now, I know today is Friday, for those of you seeing this. For for those of you that are coming upon this later on, uh, well after the Royal Rumble, this first part won't, care, won't, won't matter anything to you, so just ignore everything I'm about to say. Welcome to the 411 for SmackDown Live. Reason being that I was going to do this Tuesday night, as I always do, and then I just, I didn't think there was enough. There wasn't enough there for really for me to talk about. Same old, same old. And then I started thinking about it today while I was working. There's something really important that I need to talk about uh, that 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 that's just if done right, we can look back and say that was the moment. That was the moment. I'm talking about Sami Zayn. Now, you want to, I want to run down what happened on SmackDown and give little nuggets. Okay, uh, Sami and Kevin uh, with AJ Styles, you know, setting up for the the double uh, the double match for AJ. Uh, kind of perfectly done. AJ taking taking it into his own hands to say, "Listen, I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of all the every everything. Look, I, I'm taking my career and my livelihood into my own hands now. And Daniel, I'm tired of letting you uh, decide it for me. Let's do it. One, two, one, two. Uh, I like it." Jey Uso and uh, Chad Gable, I like it. I, I think Gable and Benjamin are going to win the, the titles uh, the Sunday. And this was a really good match uh, for Gable to kind of... We all know what Shelton can do. We've all known what Shelton can do. And I think people are finally getting that sense of Chad Gable is a beast. Because he is. Uh, very, very great in the ring. Uh, Naomi and Liv Morgan, there wasn't much there. Uh, to me, I think it was just kind of a way of getting all the women involved and, and try to, to promote this, uh, Royal Rumble a little bit better. I do think that they failed at really promoting the Women's Royal Rumble. Remember, this thing could main event the Royal Rumble pay-per-view on Sunday. There is a real chance that this could be something that, I mean, of course it's something that's never happened before, but this could also be, like, not only just to do the Women's Royal Rumble that, that myself and a lot of other people have been waiting for several years for, but to put it on last. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be kind of like uh, hell in, the women's hell in a cell thing. You just you're not going to know until it happens. Uh, not not going to know for sure until it happens. No matter what any reports or any rumors or anything says, uh, like that to me needed to be the driving factor of the show, but it wasn't. It was the 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 WWE title, which at any other. Any other show except the go home to the Royal Rumble, which this was. This was the go home, not the SmackDown go home. This was the go home, period, to the Royal Rumble. Uh, they didn't do a great job. But I can't throw any huge flags on it because they've promoted, they've talked this to death. Uh, so, you know, you make... Like I kind of feel like that was kind of like the secondary focus of SmackDown, the WWE title being the, the the top, which I can't really throw a flag on. I can and I did, but I kind of have to pick it up. I, it, it this is just it's one of those weird positions for me, because you want the title to mean the most, but the Royal Rumble has to mean a lot too, to get to the title. It's just different with it being the women. The men's, I mean, the only real Royal Rumble stuff we got was uh, Randy Orton interfering in Shinsuke and Baron's match. 
I I love Randy. I don't want to see him win it again. Uh, although he is on my short list of winners, unfortunately. Because, I mean, this year it's just kind of a toss-up. Uh, a toss-up, like, who's going to win? I, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, AJ Styles beats Kevin Owens fairly quick. They did the whole injury thing, which, uh, good booking. Uh, Sami Zayn comes out and just absolutely demolishes AJ Styles. And that's the one thing that we need to, we need to remember here. This is going to be a moment. Now, AJ is going to win the match on Sunday. They're not going to do co-WWE champions. Now, they did do this years ago with Lakul, where Lakul was the co-women's champion. And so they split up the belt. One, uh, Michelle held one half of it, and Layla held the other, and they put it together, and it formed the belt. And it, That was cool for them. I don't want to see it here, personally. Uh, but I do want to see this match basically become AJ versus Sammy. Uh, well, isn't that the same match we just saw? Yes, it is. But it means way more because these two guys can absolutely tear the house down. You know, the match that everybody talked about last year between Cena and AJ at the Royal Rumble was really, it was really good. These two guys can go out there, like AJ can have a much better match with Sami Zayn than he can with John Cena. I mean, let's just face it. Uh, until I'm proven wrong. Uh, and the match they had on SmackDown was very good. And it told a side of Sami Zayn's story. Of this new heel persona. The new heel story that he is trying to tell. Like, he's being able to open up. And, and actually show, you know, a different side of him. And it really come out on SmackDown. Now, everybody has a moment in their career where things kind of flip a little bit. And I really think that this, for heel Sami Zayn, could have been the night. Now, Sami's not going to be in the Royal Rumble as far as I know. Although, it would be nice to see them lose and then Sami jump in the Royal Rumble. We have seen this in the past where... Losers of the title, respective title matches, they will lose and then jump into the Royal Rumble match and go on. I mean, Reigns did it last year. Uh, the uh, who was it that uh, Randy Orton did it the year that uh, the Miz beat him at the Royal Rumble and retained the title. This can happen. They could book it. I don't. I don't really think they're going to, but they could. Uh, depending on whatever kind of surprises uh, they've got in store. But, you know, Sami Zayn proved to me once again how you you can't write this guy off. You can't because he's doing everything like the WWE model way of doing it. He's doing it exactly like it's being laid out in front of him. To me, there's not much more you can ask of a guy than what he's doing. I mean, he's laying it all on the line. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I can't wait for Sunday. Uh, I've I've got a lot of uh, a lot of Royal Rumble and NXT thoughts uh, going on in my head. I'm gonna get started on that very shortly, uh, right after I wrap this up and upload it, and uh, everybody gets a chance to see these thoughts. So until then, check out the other ones. Deuces, cast out.